हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ मार्केटिंग रिसर्च सेमिस्टर फाइव मॉडल नंबर थ्री इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोन अ स्टडी अबाउट लेवल्स ऑफ मेजरमेंट स्केल दैट इज एटीट्यूड स्केल्स इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैज सीन अबाउट वॉट इज मेजरमेंट वॉट इज स्केलिंग वाई इट इज डन एंड लिटिल बिट अबाउट एटीट्यूड सो एटीट्यूड एज आई सेड इज अ प्रिकर्सर टू बिहेवियर because of attitude a person behaves like a certain thing now let us move towards levels of measurement skill so what do these mean the level of measurement refers to the relationship among the values that are assigned to the attributes feelings or opinions for a variable so there are certain attributes of a variable and those attributes for those attributes the values that are assigned okay have certain relationship now suppose i am saying one means certain thing two means certain thing see measurement and scaling i am going back here one means certain thing two means certain thing and three means certain thing what is the relationship do they have any meaning in that one two three is one better than two Two better than three, or it is is it like uh, one, two and three do not have any relationship. So if these are the things, if we are studying the relationship between the values that we are assigning to the attributes or the characteristics, and uh, we are trying to find out the relationship between them, then this is nothing but uh, that what we are studying here. That is levels of measurement. typically there are four levels of measurement scales or methods of assigning numbers now what are these levels of measurement the four levels of measurement that we have are first one nominal scale second ordinal scale third one interval scale and the fourth one is ratio scale now what are these we'll see one by one nominal as the name suggests nominal we say no it is just nominal that is namesake so what are these four things if we see nominal numbers uh, i am giving an example here nominal are numbers assigned to runners suppose uh, uh, what there is a race okay uh, finals is going on eight races uh, races are there that is runners you can say and they are going to start lane 1 lane 2 lane 3 lane 4 lane 5 lane 6 lane 7 lane 8 or maybe their chess numbers which they have if you have seen uh, olympics or asian games any time you might have seen there is a chess number there which is given to them and they have that on their chest okay now these chess numbers or the lane numbers or the serial order do they have any meaning do you know that lane number 1 is better than lane number 2 or lane number 1 is faster than lane number 2 no it is not that then why these numbers are given is there any relationship there is no relationship it is just assigned for name sake serial order for example many times they are assigned for name sake just for identification purpose or grouping purpose for example your registration numbers itself what you have do they have any meaning does it mean that uh, roll number uh, that is uh, roll numbers also for example or else registration number 1 is better than the registration number 2 who is better than the registration number 3 who is again better than the registration number 4 in certain performance we do not have such it is just uh, for the name sake just because of identification we have given you names if in fact your names also are nominal they are just for identification pur- purpose person a person b person c when we are doing this way this is again nominal in nature so uh, number in this coming back to our example where these runners are there in different lanes the lane numbers or the chest numbers which are given to them are nothing but their nominal numbers they do not have any meaning they are just given for identification purpose or for assignment i mean for differentiation purpose so that uh, so that we know that this person is different from this person this person is different for this person 
okay nominal namesake the second type of measurement scale that we are going to study is ordinal ordinal what to me i mean by ordinal ordinal the word ordinal comes from order order in a specific order that means here the order becomes very important that is ranks become very important hmm? that so in this example particular example after the finish of uh, the race we have given them spots first prize second prize or third prize or first place second place third place now this is be has certain meaning that means the person who has got first place was faster than the second place person and second place uh, place person was faster than the third place person so this is based on certain ranks that they have got and this is known as ordinal scale why because they are in a particular order the fastest is at number one place the second fastest the third fastest the fourth fastest the fifth fastest the sixth seventh and eighth fastest so the ending result of the race based upon the uh, timings that where they have got that is nothing but ordinal scale because they are in a certain order there is a rule to this how we have created this order so the, this is known as ordinal scale the third type of scale that we are studying is interval scale now what do we mean by interval scale now interval scale have a fixed zero and fixed final number now what do we mean by this performance rating i am coming back to our example performance rating on a scale of 0 to 10 now based upon the race which they have had these people have uh, got one first place second place third place fourth place fifth place sixth place seventh place and eighth place eight runners were there so one to eight place or ranks i've given them now based upon the finish timings which they have got in a scale of one to ten how many marks i'm gonna give to these people the person who suppose based upon their performance on that particular day finals suppose now based upon the performance i have given 9.6 points out of 10 points for the person who finished the fastest and got first place based upon the performance on that day i have given the second place person 9.1 points out of 10 based upon the performance i have given 9.1 out of 10 for the second place person and similarly for the third place person 8.2 for the fourth place person uh, 6.5 and so on till 8 so based upon a particular scale i'm giving them a uh, points so this is nothing but a rating points this is nothing but interval scale and lastly we come to ratio scales now here the actual timings that is in seconds suppose if it was a 100 meter running race or 110 meters hurdles then how many seconds did they actually take to complete the race actual rate see in interval we are not telling how many actual number of seconds did they take to finish the race but in a ratio scale we are giving them uh, giving you a data of what was the actual timing did they uh, take to complete the race so time to finish uh, the race in seconds was given that is the first person that is uh, the fastest person who finished at number one place took 13.4 seconds the second place person took 14.1 uh, seconds and the third person took 15.2 seconds so this is how we take we'll take a further look at these four in our next slide so nominal what do they do as i've said these are numbers that identify and classify objects now what are the examples of this i have given you certain examples some other examples are social security numbers your uh, uid that is aadhaar card numbers do they have any meaning no they are just given for identification purpose then numbering of football players that is which is given they write number nine number seven on their jerseys so that is nothing but these are uh, your identification numbers only then common examples are these uh, marketing examples if you want to know brand numbers you uh, suppose if you have lot of brands within you uh, with your company then you can have brand numbers brand number one brand number two brand number three or you can an alphabet them also brand a brand b brand c brand d so this way or brand names also can become your uh, 
this nominal classification similarly uh, this uh, what to say stroke types stroke type a stroke type b stroke type c stroke type d or uh, one metro city stores uh, can be classified into one group then uh, tier one cities tier two cities tier three cities uh, rural city that is where stores in villages so these five kind of classifications you can do and you can assign numbers to each one two three four five so this is nothing but an example of nominal scaling that is a nominal scale uh, similarly what are the permissible statistics don't go much in depth into this i'll just give you an idea about this now because these are nominal in nature what you can do is at the maximum you can find out percentages and mode out of this and what is the inferential statistics that you can do you can perform a chi-square test or a binomial test using this data you cannot do much about this you can do at the maximum charting which you can uh, use it but uh, you cannot do much uh, statistics using nominal data the second type of data that we have seen is ordinal data what are the basic characteristics of this numbers indicate the relative positions of objects but not the magnitude of differences between them so in the previous example which we had taken of uh, racers or runners who finished ordinal data referred to ranks that is first place who got first place second place third place fourth place fifth place and so on so this is what was given to them everything was in an order based upon the fastest timings now what it uh, did not tell us is the magnitude of difference it did not tell first place was there we know second place so that third place that means first place was faster than the second place but we did not know how much faster he was right in ordinal data so the actual magnitude of differences was not given in ordinal data common examples of this are quality rankings we know that quality of one product is better than the other product but if we just uh, say that brand a is of uh, first quality brand B is of second quality brand B is C of third quality but we do not know the actual difference between brand A and brand B we just say that it is better than the previous uh, other brand but we do not tell how much better it is so that is an example similarly rankings of teams in a tournament uh, IPL is going on uh, team at number one is better than team at number two team at number two is better than team at number three but we do not tell you how much better it is so that will get to know only if we see the final points in the points table and the net run rate so only then we can get to know but just if we tell the ranks we cannot tell how much better they are now uh, coming to marketing examples preference rankings of uh, brands which we are gonna see in later in this model that can be said done uh, then similarly market position or social classes this kind of uh, data that we are gonna give in market research for researchers is comes under ordinal data now what do we mean by social class social class or socio-economic classes a high income group mid income group low income group so now we know based upon income we are doing high income have higher income compared to middle income middle income people have higher income compared to lower income so this kind of groupings when we are doing we are doing rankings again based upon income level similarly uh, what i have said is preference my rankings of brands suppose customers prefer a particular brand uh, a more than brand b brand b more than brand c so how much uh, we just uh, are ranking them we are not giving them the actual magnitude means how much do they like it so that is not told to you so this is nothing but ordinal data so what are the permissible statistics that you are doing from ordinal data so the permissible statistics under descriptive statistics we can find out percentiles median so these are the two things that we can find out using uh, uh, this ordinal data and in inferential statistics we can find out a rank order correlation of course we know the ranks so rank correlation can be done that is Spearman's rank correlation we have studied in QT similarly there is something known as ANOVA and in that ANOVA also you can do a Friedman ANOVA ANOVA is not there in your syllabus in QT but that is one of uh, the widely used technique in uh, inferential statistic uh, moving ahead to interval uh, scale now in interval scales what are uh, the things that we can find out we can find out the difference between objects 
we can see how much better that person was from the other person so that is what we can find out in a previous problem we had seen in interval scaling we had a scale or a rating scale from 0 to 10 out of 0 to 10 you had to give uh, rate the performance of these runners on particular uh, this uh, on that particular day which they had run so uh, when scaling was given that is 1 to 10 uh, points were assigned that is out of 10 points points were given to these people and the based upon the points you were able to tell how much better the particular person was compared to the other person now uh, what are the examples of uh, interval scalings temperature so temperature is one uh, very good example of interval scaling you have a scale and you uh, can measure and tell uh, he has 37 degrees body temperature he has 38 degree body temperature so the person who has 38 degree body temperature is more has more temperature than uh, this the person with 37 degree body temperature so this way you can very easily find out uh, this there are again various scales in temperature Fahrenheit scale is there Celsius scale is there and Kelvin scale is there so uh, this uh, scientists use Kelvin scale uh, if you want if your degrees is uh, body temperature is saying 97 degrees then it is definitely not Celsius it is Fahrenheit and if your body temperature is saying 37 degrees then it is not Fahrenheit it is Celsius scale so uh, there are different scales again so but you can very easily find out which is uh, which is more hotter than the other thing suppose if you are using a Celsius scale and you are uh, putting that thermometer in boiling water in Belgium water boils at close to 98 degrees Celsius so the temperature is 98 degrees similarly if you're putting it in a tea which has been already been poured in a cup of, and two minutes have passed then in Celsius it will show very slow, uh, very less compared to 198 degrees it might show you close to say 45 degrees 650 degrees something like that so very easily you can say that the boiling water was much more hotter than the tea that has been poured in the saucer so you can make a comparison using this right then uh, marketing examples are attitudes you can measure opinions you can measure and indexes also you can find out this is what we are going to do in this model this is of prime importance because you can measure attitudes using this kind of this so interval scale so from a scale of 1 to 10 tell me how much stressed you are so this question which we had started at the beginning of this model so here is what it is it was an example of interval scale and we are gonna find out attitudes opinions interests or indexes of people using this and this is what we are going to use very much if you're doing consumer behavior research okay why because again behavior comes from attitude and you want to measure attitude attitude can be measured using integral scale now what are the permissible statistics that you are going to use now the permissible statistics that you can use are a range uh, yeah, under descriptive statistics you can find out a range mean and standard deviation similarly under inferential statistics you can find out uh, product moment uh, that is uh, skewness to some extent so that is what you can find out using integral scale uh, then the last one that is ratio ratio has nearly everything in this whatever you have studied in nominal ordinal interval everything you can do plus you can have some additional features also why because it has a characteristic that it has a fixed zero it has that is it has a fixed origin then you can also have the actual measurement so what is the basic characteristics of a ratio scale it has a fixed zero zero is fixed in this ratios of scale values can be compared very easily for example uh, in a previous example itself of runners here in a ratio scale the actual seconds that is finish timing in seconds was told to you the uh, person who was the fastest had finished the race in I think 14.5 seconds the second person had uh, finished the race in 13 uh, uh, 15.2 seconds something like that it was so just uh, take an example suppose if the winner of the race uh, finished the race in 13.8 seconds and the second person uh, had 14.1 uh, seconds so clearly you can tell which one is better than the other 
right because 13.8 finishing the race in 13.8 second was better than finishing the race in 14.1 seconds similarly you can compare also you can do lot of other things you can know the actual values how fast he was so all these things can be known so when actual values are given so this is nothing but ratio scales uh, common examples are length of a pipe length of a rod and similarly weight of apples rice or anything so these all comes under in uh, ratio scales uh, it has characteristics of ratio scales also it has uh, uh, sorry interval scales also it has characteristics of ordinal scales also why because you can do all those things using uh, the data that has been provided provided to you in ratio scales now uh, marketing examples if you want to see when you are getting demographic profile uh, like age age uh, 35 years age 22 years age 18 years age 52 years so all these are is an example of uh, ratio scales then uh, this uh, in the ratio scale one very important thing i have to tell you is you can find out the ratios that is suppose if one person is 30 years of age and the other person is 60 years of age you can very easily say that the person who is 60 years age is twice the age of the person who are double the age of a uh, person who has 30 years of age so this kind of ratio 60 upon 30 is equals to 2 so this kind of thing you can do in ratio scale and that is why it is known as a ratio so uh, other things that uh, marketing examples that we can find out in ratio scales are sales uh, that is quantity of sales how much amount of uh, number of units you have sold in a particular month then uh, income of a person uh, in rupees cost of certain things so all these come under uh, ratio scales what are the permissible statistics then under descriptive statistics we have geometric mean that we can find out we have harmonic mean we can, that we can find out now not only these all those things which are written above this that is percentiles mode uh, percentile uh, then median then range mean standard deviation geometric mean everything can be found out so these this table is put in such a way that uh, suppose nominal scale can do only a particular thing ordinal scale can do all those things which are written in nominal scale plus these things which are written in its box interval scale which is that third one it can do whatever nominal scale can do it can do whatever ordinal scale can do plus it can do these extra things what has been written in its box similarly ratio scale can do all what nominal scale can do all what ordinal scale can do all what interval scale can do plus extra items which have been written in its box so this is how this table has been arranged similarly in under permissible statistics under inferential statistics uh, the things is coefficient of variation you can find out that is cv that is differential uh, difference that is you have done problems on statistics uh, in statistics about share prices variation so coefficient of variation was found out batsman a batsman b so who is more consistent so consistency can be found out using coefficient of variation so this is how uh, these four uh, levels of measurement or primary measurement scales are stacked up uh, with this we end today's lecture if you have any doubt uh, with this measurement scales techniques and scaling then you can contact us